What do we generally do when someone asks us to draw a cell, be it a plant or animal cell? We first draw the outline of it and then start filling in the other components. Often, most of us find the components of the cell more fascinating than its outline. But this outline, which is lovingly embracing the other components, is quite fascinating. So let's get to know it. First, let's start with its name. The name of this cell boundary is cell membrane. Just like many of us, it also has an alias. We can also call it the plasma membrane. As we know, cell membrane is the outer covering of the cell. It's kind of like the walls of a room. We know that walls protect us from external environmental conditions like heat, cold, wind and even wild animals. In exactly the same way, the cell membrane also protects the cell from its external environment. Do you think that's the only function? If not, what else? These walls also give the room a proper structure. Without these, can we even call it a room? No, right? Even a cell has different shapes. So the cell membrane is the structure which is responsible for giving these cells their unique structure and shapes. Also, just like the walls of a room, allow us to play things like furniture and appliances in an organized manner. The cell membrane helps in the packing of organelles of the cell in an organized manner. What else do you think these walls might help in? Well, if we observe closely, these walls also separate the different rooms from one another, right? Similarly, even the cell membrane separates the components inside the cell from neighboring cells. Oh yeah, I forgot about the doors. You know that the door of a room allow us to go in and out. Even the cell membrane have their own doors to let things in and out. Just like our door can be unlocked only by us and not by a stranger, the cell membrane also allows the exchange of specific substances between the cells and the environment. When I tell you movement of specific substances, it means that the membrane only allows a few substances and blocks the rest. This property of the cell membrane of permitting only specific substances is called the selective permeability. So plasma membrane is a selectively permeable membrane. It's as simple as that. Also, some rooms have this small door for pet cats or dogs, right? Can we expect bigger animals like camels or for that matter an elephant to pass through it? I know it's a weird question, but it has a point to make. The cell membrane also has pores that allow only small substances and solvents like water to pass through, but not bigger substances. This means that cell membrane is permeable only to few substances and hence it is called semi-permeable. To perform these particular functions, the cell membrane needs to have a particular composition, right? Well, yes, it is made of two layers of phospholipids with few embedded proteins. These phospholipids, which are basically the building blocks of the cell membranes, are nothing but a special type of lipid which have a phosphate group attached to it. I think I have covered many functions of the protector of the cell. But despite carrying out so many functions, it looks quite humble. For instance, if we look at the thickness of the plasma membrane, it's very, very thin. To give you an idea of exactly how thin it is, it would require about 5,000 membranes stacked one on top of the other to equal the thickness of a single page of your book. Now let's quickly recap what we have learned. The cell is surrounded by a cell membrane. It is also called the plasma membrane. The cell membrane protects the cell from the outer environment. The cell membrane gives the structure to the cell. It also separates the components of the cell from the outer environment. It is a selectively permeable membrane and only allows 
few specific substances to pass through it. It is also a semi-permeable membrane and only allows small substances and solvents like water to pass through it. With that, we come to the end of this video. I hope that now you understand what cell membrane is and how it plays a key role in carrying out vital functions. See you soon.